Alright guys, what do you say we have a look at this TCR Total Control Racing Slotless Track Rio Passing. Paid 10 bucks for this at an estate sale. And uh, I didn't go through this whole thing. I was told by the guy who originally owned it as a kid uh, from 1978, by the way. That both trucks and all the cars, everything in that I needed was in here. But obviously, you know these old slot car tracks, they don't always work when you pull them out, even new, you have to work on them. So, what do you say? We uh, set you guys up down here. We keep you in the movie there. Let's see what's in here. Some controllers. Track. Some cars. That's nice. That's always what's missing. Power transformer, eraser for the track. Still feels like it's a pretty good pliable racer. And some flags and some other crumbs in there. It looked like uh, it might be some other flags that fell apart. So yeah, some of those weak cardboard guardrails. I guess we'll wrap around the whole track. And here's our terminal track. Right there, so I'm going to guess that should go. Again, I don't know how much work these cars are going to need. But we're not going to know. Oh, look. Spare tire. We'll set that over there for now. And, uh... I'll tell you what. Um... Uh, I'm going to spend a little time cleaning this track up before I put it together because, yeah, it's okay to clean this, but you also have to clean those terminals too where they connect to one another. So, And I do see some crud inside there, so I'll be back. All right, I have enough room to set up this oval, you see. So, I mean, obviously, it could go much longer. I have uh, six pieces of track left, but I don't have enough real estate to use those six pieces of track. But you know what? For test purposes, this is going to be just fine. So I'll put these back. And uh, I'm really, I, I'm, I'm not going to try this until I clean this track really well, so... I'll be back. All right, real quick. I see a vehicle here that has all of its rubber. I don't know how good it is. And all of its pickups. Again, they haven't been cleaned. Then I see the jam truck here, which has no rubber, as you can see. And I have another rig here that has its front rubber. Again, it probably needs to be replaced. And a piece of a rubber right here which obviously is not the original and that rear rubber there is gone however i'll be able to test it to see if it runs but it's not going around the track but we can see if the motor spools up um this one we might be able to get to go around the track so we'll see all right started to get some movement and uh that truck's gonna need a rebuild too I'm going to let it go around and see if it loosens up a little bit. If there's any oxide on that uh, commutator, those brushes will actually start to polish it up after it runs around for a little bit. Let it run. Uh, I'll tell you what, get back up all the way, see if we can keep this in a, a straight, straight lane. I don't know, it doesn't, it doesn't seem to like that straight lane. I mean, it seems to run better when it's bouncing all over the track. I'm going to do it right now. Here we go. Now. See, then it just kind of coasts to a stop. With a little assistance, I think the pickup shoes need to be cleaned. And probably both lanes. I only did the outside. This outside lane. 
So, all right, I'll tell you what, it's been a minute or two on these pickup shoes here and uh, see what's up. This is one of the trucks I can't get to run. But if you look up front there, you see a lot of brown on that nylon uh, motor housing there. That could be a concern because I haven't got anything out of this truck yet. And I've cleaned the pickups. So, let's see. Motor's freed up. Might be a brush issue. I don't know. I don't know. Could be the controller too. So I'll tell you what. See, I know that controller works. Let me uh, pull this out here. Just swap these around. Nope. So yeah, it probably needs to be rebuilt. Nothing happening here. There's nothing happening here. I'll keep at it. Well, we're starting to get them freed up, I think. The white one's definitely looser at this point. That red one is stubborn. But again, I haven't put any new parts on these things. I've just been cleaning. Every time that red one goes to pass, that white one gets a surge of energy and just kills it. Yeah, we'll give this track a good cleaning tomorrow. Oh, jammed up. All right, all right, guys, I did manage to get uh, both of these trucks running. Um, this one here, well, the white, remember the white one was running right out of the box, uh, not very good, but after a little bit of service, it worked just fine. I just ended up taking this truck apart and cleaning all of the contacts, um, greasing this gear system here, or oil in this gear system right here. And then, uh, yeah, it's it. pulling a little motor out and cleaning that very good and give it a little drop of oil. And, yeah, so I have ordered new tires for all three vehicles. Yeah, because there's these two trucks and a jam car. And uh, so, yeah, the tires should be here, well, whenever they get here. Yeah, you see these tires are not the ones that belong on here. And so that will... Uh, affect the performance of these vehicles but right now we're going to go through and see how these things are actually running so we'll uh from the starting line up here i'm racing by myself here we go let me keep my hands here See the white one, the white one definitely really needs some tires. But as you can see, they're both running really, really good. Who 
do a couple more laps and I'll wrap this video up. The white one really, really wants to pass, but it just doesn't have the traction. So those tires on there are absolutely crap. All right. How about we wrap this video up? So yeah, with a little bit of work and a lot of erasing of the track and cleaning up those contacts, and I also took some uh, goo gone and went over the track because it was very corroded with oxide. But uh, yeah, no, it's uh, as you can see, these uh, old ideal TCR cars are bulletproof. Just need a little work, just need a little uh, TLC. So there. So my look at the. 1977 or 78 TCR total control racing slotless track with real passing and you can see our jam car right there well that thing it runs but it needs both rear tires and weirdly enough that one actually has rubber front tires too so uh, I ordered the whole kit and caboodle of tires for those things so yeah anyway it works great thought I'd share that with you $10 in an estate sale. What a steal.